before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching <coughs> your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites Emperor. away. <coughs> of the north! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why yes. have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious ya. called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, <coughs> unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our the souls against them? Against or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, so though fight. I could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, <sighs> long extinguished within them. <laughs> Yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years, but a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds, flogged by war. The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. A wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. Teng, tereng, tereng. Option dulu lah. Audio. Udah ada ya nama aku, Yusli. Kacau kali. New game, just the story, story and sword, blood and broken bones. Maksudnya, oh ini level ya. Coba kita medium. On apa? Maksudnya <tuh> Oh, kau putus Siapa yang mutusin kepala kuda? Lagi 
cari jejak dia ni lagi mencari jejak Siapa cewek ini? Grafiknya jos juga tadi. Wah, mati kita hilang titikmu. Bangun, wah. You know I don't find that amusing. <coughs> it wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Tato tatoan badannya semua bekas luka semua. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. Kena campak gong, gitu aja. Jump D. L T hold. Yeah. 
You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Masih ada kau rupanya. Kira udah pergi kau tadi. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. You never. Suruh kemana kita? Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Nah, tadi kita habis nengok pemandangan, sekarang nengok lagi. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm. Why? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. <coughs> John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. Do you like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she is to become one of us. I'll see you below. I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. 
<sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Panjang juga ternyata storynya. Apologi not enough. Sorry's not good enough. You're gonna read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety, appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? You expect. Bungka sangar semua sini. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells. And by the sickly paleness of his visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if. But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> so you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Siri with the dumb. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go <coughs> retraining? <coughs> Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she-devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Make sure to find every last blade for you. What then? You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. 
was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, <sighs> did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Okay, time to go. <coughs> be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think Apa I unicorn? do. Maybe not entirely, <coughs> but perhaps Mungkin that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Jennifer are we? Jennifer. Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait. Hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Who's next? Adrenaline point. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. <coughs> Let's go before any more show up. Consumable plot for it. Treat. Wake up horse and press A. Mana kuda kita? Oh, ini. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed.
We going? Help me! Help! Siapa yang dimakan? Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah. Beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Get here. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? And near the main road? Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. It's <laughs> <That's monsters laughs> crazy sometimes. Man, I'm get too. Up. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Slow now. Coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is.
I'll not drink with Weaver Lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Light way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, poor thing's one foot in the grave. But does no good to wallow in misfortune. How can I be of service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Apain kita beli semua? Looking for a woman, raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travelers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection. Or go to the Lord for help. Now the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Thanks for everything. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. 
Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special... What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Jor. Seen anyone like that? Of course not. Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? <coughs> Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend, no tenure to gain, and notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. Okay, well done. Gotta go. So, <sighs> a moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Well, well, you've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Langsung tahu dia ya. Namanya. Kok bisa kau tahu kau? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient butcher. <sighs> into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You 
seen Yennefer. Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? What are we talking about? None of your business. Yes, as a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Di mana kita ini? Suruh keluar. 529 langkah. Done drinking. Then fuck off. Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course not. No, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Come on. Boy, Lamar, will you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. D E R B A N. Come on. Whoa there, Roach. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. <laughs> I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. You black ones aren't so scary after all. Can even be nice if you want to. Don't get accustomed, Nordling. To the tower. Go. To the tower. Goltai's grief is under. That's what you throw black. It's this terrain. Nord est ulf heiden en meras. It's a true mine. It's a tool to not We must requisition a share of your harvest. 
How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. What girl? This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the vulpine woods at first. I sent a patrol there. Five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died, look <coughs> around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mizlov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. them. Hands up. Kill no. them. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Apa tanaman yang bisa diambil? Verbena. Pintunya bisa didorong, toh. Heard of the Vryhead Brigade? Good guys, non humans. Straight to Novigrad. 
Miss a fast travel. Salah rumah ini rumah itu. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets. The red bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar takes poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking, a few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge, the whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars, something, something. Ah, good to know the black one's looking out for our welfare. Doubt Emperor Amir cares about you, but this captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yes. Griffin do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in the skull. <coughs> Nothing my bruise can do to help. I've agreed to kill the griffin. No more victims after I do. <laughs> there will be, of course. With the griffin gone, others will kill in its stead. Monsters or men. So what do you think I should do? Apply your trade. But don't think you can change anything. Farewell. Cewek ini kena tusuk gara-gara mau jumpa cowok. Malam-malam lagi jumpanya ngapain kau? bisa kita ambil ini jam Do the fighting, but peasants do the dying.
anyone home? Must be out hunting. Trail's fresh. Ms. Love just left home. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. And you can clear. I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm-hmm. Show you, sure, but uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure. Griffin's not Kita going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines. Too late. Attacked another one. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Sorry. Hope you weren't close. No. Not at all. So... Can you show me where you found the Nilf Guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Well, not much. It's not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I am <coughs> silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. Was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to. Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first Griffin I've dealt with. Not so, so to be the last I'm either. Hope you're right. Kita. Good hunting. Kalau lawan anjingnya benar kita. 
Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. So thin, yeah. Dewa lompat. Blok. Tidak bisa diambil kah? have already hatched, been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. <coughs> Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffin's parallel for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. 
tactics. Royal Griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Nah, kok makan daging pula? Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Tiga. Wah, cerah dorin kom. 